Hello everyone. Today's versus day is a small series. We're going to do four parts of this and it's all talking about battles. We all have various battles in life and the Lord gets us ready for these things. So we're going to talk about the stages that you do in battling in whatever situation it may be. Psalm 63, 5 through 8 says, My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food. And my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. But when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help and in the shadow of your wings, I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. The part that I really like is verse six. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. There are times, and, and I had to just go along with it, the Lord wakes me up. He's like, hey, Warren, wake up. Either read the word or meditate on some word you already read. And I will be exhausted. I will be exhausted, but the Lord, sometimes he knows that quiet hours. You see the, the darkness in this? this? This is what, three in the morning that I'm recording these things. Those quiet hours is when the Lord sometimes needs to get your attention. And don't fight it. Don't sit there and fight it like me. Just just get up. Get up. Maybe lay in bed and, and just and think about what he's trying to get you to do. Because, I mean, he will give you down to the inklings of plans. You got to just sit there and write it down. Write it down. And when I'm talking about battling, I'm talking about if you're going through anything. Let's say maybe you're... You're going through a legal case. Let's say maybe something is, is wrong with your family and you're trying to build your family back together. Whatever situation, whatever plan, maybe he's trying to uh, <clears throat> teach you how to, I don't know, be more competitive for your career and promotion or whatever it may be. Or maybe it's to do more ministry stuff on it. Whatever this battle thing that he has for you, this upcoming, when he wakes you up and he's got things going through your mind, cause write it down. Write it down, because I'm telling you, he's brilliant. And he will give you exactly all the plans you need. And it's, as it says with verse 7, for you have been my help. You know, in the shadow of your wings, I will sing for joy. Yeah, he's such a great helper. And Proverbs 7, 1 through 3 says, My son, keep my words and treasure up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Verse 3, bind them on your fingers and write them on the tablet of your heart. When you are in bed and stuff, a lot of times you may not even have to pull up scripture because if you have read so much scripture and, and, and not memorized it by like, you know, doing repetition, but actually reading it for its content, the Lord will have these things just pop up in your head, different verses and stuff that apply to different parts of your life to, to prosper. He'll have it just pop up. It's like in the front of your head. <laughs> it's like right in front of your eyes. Yeah. And Psalm 1, 1 through 2. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and when night. So prior to the battle, prior to the battle, during the preparation for war, the Lord gets us up early in the morning. So wake up, wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> Wake up while your enemy is, is, is busy at night because night is, is one of the most wicked hours of all time. The Lord wants you to wake up and pray and prepare for a war. Yeah. So we'll continue tomorrow with the battles and, and the, talking about the different stages in this four-part series. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for your son and thank you for getting us ready for whatever things we have to do. Thank you for giving us ideas and we don't have to have all the knowledge. You have the plan. 
We just need to listen and be able to write it down. Thank you, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.